This is my roller jig, version 1. It was inspired by a fixture I saw in a Gretsch factory tour video. Theirs was metal, mine's 3 quarter inch plywood, some PVC, various box door hardware, and some bearings. I wanted a self-contained unit which would easily drop on the saw. It needed to accommodate a full shell tube, which is 2 feet long, and it needed to fit on the actual table saw, which at the time was a rigid job site saw. As you can see, I've since modified it to fit this cabinet saw. The deck is 3 quarter inch plywood with the center cut out for the blade. The end caps are an inch and a half lamination and the fence side is a layer of half inch PVC board, which isn't really necessary but I thought it would wear better than plywood. I was wrong. This side is also built out to straddle the fence. The rollers are captive, so in order to change the spacing for different diameter tubes you have to remove this end cap. Half inch aluminum tube is used as bushings to keep the plywood and PVC from getting chewed up by the threaded rod. The rollers are a variation of a new Yankee workshop design. Inch and a half PVC pipe, 3 8 inch threaded rod and nuts, skateboard bearings, and these discs are cut from PVC board and act as spacers. The pros. One part construction, quick and easy setup, more accurate and safer to cut than trying to roll a tube on the flat deck, kickback is a concern, and it was fun to make. The cons. Changing the spacing requires a disassembly, and these rollers have a little bit of play, but it hasn't affected the performance. Version 2 was made by Bill, and since he had a cabinet saw, he made design modifications. He went with a more modular approach and made separate fences. Instead of captive rollers, he cut slots for the rollers to quickly drop in and be moved. My spacing was an inch on center, he tried two inches on center. And instead of making rollers, he used steel conveyor belt rollers. The pros. The method for changing spacing is exponentially better. The saw fence can actually be used within the fixture. It weighs less, and it's easier to store. The cons. No positive stop, so the fixture has to be aligned to the table and the blade with every setup. And the slot spacing is not precise nor consistent. It, it definitely has room for improvement. Say hello to version 3. Everything I liked about version 1 and 2 with additional modifications. 3 quarter inch plywood. Steel conveyor belt rollers, she's a beaut, Clark. I added gussets to the fences to lock them in at 90 degrees, and stop blocks for auto alignment. Just use the fence for a little help and clamp her down. Slots at 2 inches on center, bang on precise thanks to my slot cutting jig for the router table, fence within the fixture, and conveyor belt rollers. Bye bye janky PVC. These bad boys are 45 inches long, but you can get a variety of sizes from Granger. I have no complaints with this setup. And that's saying something, because trust me, I find the faults with all my projects. Rollers are easily adjustable for different diameters. Let's run this one. And of course, my love for organization couldn't resist making a storage rack for the rollers as well as the fences. Get the rest of the lights, would you?